for our continuing coverage on skyrocketing property taxes across the state. So now, El Paso County Commissioners, they're lowering the mill levy ahead of property tax statements going out next year. News 5's Andy Cohen reports on what this means for you. The county estimates that this lower mill levy will create around $20 million in property tax relief next year. Tax bills are still going to be higher, just not as high as they would have been without this reduction. Homeowners in El Paso County got a notice in the mail earlier this year that the value of your property for taxing purposes is higher by an average of more than 40%. That means higher property taxes. Now we are adjusting that mill levy down, uh, and so that is where the, the relief is coming from. The Taxpayers' Bill of Rights, or TABOR, puts a cap on how much government revenue grows each year. Any surplus must be refunded. County commissioners are cutting their mill levy to avoid collecting too much. So in this case, um, we were above what could be collected primarily because of those large assessment rates. And so Tabor um, is the mechanism that, that says, hey, you can't go above that cap. They also bristled at a letter sent to them by Governor Polis last week asking local government to lower their property taxes. They say that's something lower governments do every year. And this is why the letter sent out by the governor was so insulting. He's saying in his letter, asking for local governments to do something we already normally do, and then trying to take credit when we do this. And the commissioners sent their own letter in reply, criticizing the governor and state lawmakers for making life more expensive for Coloradans. To the state legislature and to the governor, please help us to uh, limit the unfunded mandates and loss of local control that have come through several pieces of legislation from the state in recent years. These harm local budgets. County commissioners still have to vote on this lower mill levy and get that new number over to the county treasurer by early January. The deadline to do that was extended because of all of the uncertainty about property taxes with HH on the ballot and then the special session. In Colorado Springs, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy.